This is the awfully named Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. And with the likes of the iPhone, Galaxy Ultra and OnePlus devices out there, you'd be forgiven for wondering where we actually go from here. Phones already feel fast enough, but there's more to do and Qualcomm has a few tricks up its sleeve. The company has actually provided expected benchmark ranges for various different test suites and the numbers it gives are pretty promising. I mean, they definitely top the charts and given what we know about this chip's predecessor, I don't have any reason to severely doubt the numbers provided by Qualcomm, but of course they must be taken with a pinch of salt because smartphone makers need to ensure that they're properly utilizing this chip just to get the most out of it. And that means plenty of room for vapor chamber cooling inside the smartphone, a nice strong battery and that kind of thing. I, I wouldn't expect an S26 Edge, if it came with an uh, 8 Elite Gen 5, to be able to compete directly with an S26 Ultra or a OnePlus 15. The outgoing 8 Elite benchmarks vary very much based on what phone the chip is in. Not by crazy amounts, it must be said, but you do have to play towards a big chip's strengths and that is important with a big one like this. 